We met with Peder Fredriksson, the talented, unassuming show jumper, during a reflective stroll along the beach where he often rides. It's a very tranquil way of life here, but things were somewhat different toward the end of August last year when Peder returned home from the Rio Olympics with the individual jumping silver medal to join the team silver he won in Athens 2004. Well, it was mainly two things that changed. It was that more guys like you are here, like more, more media. Before it wasn't mass media at all actually, but that just overnight it changed a lot. Because Olympic Games is one of the few competitions that not only horse people are watching, like the whole country is watching and, and if you get a medal it creates a lot of interest. And then the second thing is that I got a good jump up on the ranking which made me uh, that I could ride on, on uh, better co competitions than before. A year has passed since that Olympic whirlwind, and now life at Grevlunda Farm has more or less returned to those pre-Rio days. It's an inspiring place to work and reside, although it can get a touch windy at times. Pedder, his wife Leeson, a two-time Olympian, and their three sons live in a 200-year-old former granite farm, which they have lovingly restored. We like beautiful things, and. Uh... We appreciate living in this beautiful place, even though it's a bit offside. I like every day. I, I really um, love the view we have over the sea and things like this. And we were looking for a long time, like two years. We were driving around, trying, trying to find the right place. I wanted to live somewhere with a lot of hills that we could train the horses, and Lisa wanted to stay close to the sea, and that wasn't an easy combination to find. But the first. The time I drove up here, I just knew this was the place I wanted to have if, if it was possible. The farm once produced fruit, but gradually new buildings were added and others renovated into functional stables that today house a combination of young, talented horses and his more successful mounts. It's here that Pedder spends his working day, developing and honing his horsemanship skills. I hate doing exactly the same thing every day. I, I always want to feel that I'm on the way somewhere, trying to improve something. That's what motivates me. I want to improve myself, improve my horses, improve my team, improve my management to, to, to get better results. And that's a real challenge. The longer I've been in the sport, the more I realize the value of sound horses. If the horse is not sound, it would be difficult to motivate the horse to do well at competitions. If the horse feel you know, sound in the body and they're really motivated, it's easier for them to have a long career. So that's a bit why I, I, I build this track up now in the forest that I can hack them out and even do a bit of dressage work around the trees just to, to keep them motivated and uh, also to change the ground a little bit to keep them sound. And up in the forest they can move a little bit up, a little bit down. And I think it's good, good gymnastic for them. Horses are clearly Pedder's main passion and he also loves to paint them. He studied at art school where he and Leeson met and has used his graphic design training to produce amongst many the official pictograms for the FEI disciplines. The last 10 years I've been doing mainly in, in watercolours because it goes quickly. And that's what I like to do when I paint. You have to be really focused for a short time. And uh, I don't have so much time, so, <laughs> so that's good for me. Pedder is reluctant to call himself an artist, but he clearly has talent for painting. It's getting harder these days, though, for him to combine his two passions. i actually been painting all my life, up until just maybe one year before the Olympic Games in Rio, because then I realized I had this fantastic horse in the stable and I really like to make an effort to do well at the Olympics. So then I stopped painting and put all of that time also into to, uh, the competition riding. For now, his brushes remain dry as he focuses on training horses and taking part in top events around the world. Pedda thrives on team competition and the FEI European Championships on home turf in Gothenburg were about to take place. But to represent the country is always, I think, the biggest thing. And to win individual is fantastic, but to win a team competition is almost even a greater feeling because then you win it together and you win it, share joys. It's, great. I think the European Championship in Gothenburg is going to be a really big thing for Swedish show jumping. You have pressure both from yourself and these high expectations from others, but that's what we want, that's why we do it. It's a, it's a great feeling to have that pressure on you. You just have to make sure you can handle it. And, uh, but I like it. <laughs>